read a statement on behalf of Tajamuka. Uh, we make this statement following a vicious crackdown on the vendors by the illegitimate government of Zimbabwe. This comes on the back of fatal shooting of innocent civilians a few weeks ago. And it is happening in the full glare of the so-called Commission of Inquiry led by the former president of South Africa, President Monsanto. Obviously, these maneuvers are informed by the are informed by the insecurities and the paranoia of those who know that the people are not, are not on their side and who are responsible for the obtaining economic situation in the country. It is clear that the government of Emerson Mnangagwa is to blame for all this. We call on this government to immediately seize the use of force against civilians and enter into negotiations with the vendors and allow and all the other stakeholders to find an amicable and lasting solution to the vending crisis in Zimbabwe. We insist that the government cannot remove vendors from the streets without providing alternative vending facilities or even employment. We make this statement fully cognizant of the inconveniences vendors may have on other members of the public who may want to enjoy a clean city and free movement within the city. We are also aware of the conflicting and competing interests of the vendors and the formal traders who pay all their overhead costs and feel shortchanged. However, at this juncture, we implore all citizens to put their differences aside and confront the real culprit of their problems, which is squarely the illegal government of Emerson Nengagwa that presides over our country today. We reiterate our resolution not to recognize a government that came to power by force and foul. It is our strong contention that such a government would not and should not last more than two years in office. <coughs> we, the citizens of Zimbabwe, shall peacefully mobilize ourselves and demand a return to legality and legitimacy in Zimbabwe. Thank you.